This is Optimal Startup Daily, episode 777, Career Journeys, Changes, and Transitions, and Personal Brand or Executive Presence, both by Michael Paperno of michaelpaperno.com. And I am Dan, I'm your host, and welcome back to Optimal Startup Daily, or welcome for the first time if you are new here. Like yesterday, I'm actually featuring two posts today, both from Michael Paperno. So with that, let's get right to them and start optimizing your life. Career Journeys, Changes, and Transitions by Michael Paperno of michaelpaperno.com Making a career transition, or any significant type of career change, is hard work. It's also fraught with risk and uncertainty. Yet the payoff can be literally life-changing. I know, I've done it four times. And that's why I enjoy helping others along their career journeys, whether it's figuring out if it's best to stay or go, plotting the plan to make a transition from a steady path with a large company to a more volatile and more exciting startup or early stage venture, or designing a complete change that means starting from scratch. I've helped people through it all. Here are a few things I've learned that may help you if you're feeling stuck or if you're thinking about what it would be like to make a big or small career transition. One. Connect your purpose with your career path. I know a sense of purpose can be elusive, but I argue that it's critically important. If you do the work to find and clarify it, you'll be more confident heading down the right path. Purpose is often easier to see once you've looked at your passions and the value you bring to others. And remember, your purpose can evolve. Mine sure has. But the common thread for me has always been two things, teaching and communication. Connecting your purpose to your work will help you discover what you really want. And then you can target the position or path that leverages your strengths and passions. Two, think transition, not change. Chances are you're not throwing all your skills and experiences out the window and starting with absolutely nothing you can carry with you. That's why I've never liked the term career change. In my experience, I've made several career transitions, each one building off my knowledge, skills, and experiences to date, but now more aligned with my purpose and current goals. Inventory your skills and experiences and consider how you'll apply them to the future career you want. Three, get good at networking. You can apply to positions all you want, but that means molding yourself to fit a position that's been predefined. There's nothing wrong with that if you're simply looking for your next job, but most of the people I help are looking for more than that. They want a new chapter where they can feel more fulfilled and feel like they're making a difference. Those opportunities are often created through networking with people who need what you have to offer, even if no job description exists. To get good at networking, you must define the right avenues for making the connections you need. This means leveraging people you know and meeting new people who can help you connect with the right humans who can get you there. And four, get outside help to keep you accountable. Hoping that the next chapter of your career will magically reveal itself is a sure way to ensure it never comes. You have the power to make it happen if you really want it. However, it's not easy to do, and you need to create short and long-term action plans to keep yourself accountable. Figuring out how to make real change happen, or even if making a transition is right for you at the current time, is rarely done well alone. Seek help from a coach, trusted advisors, and other people who have done the work, and you'll be much more likely to stay the course and make it happen. Personal Brand or Executive Presence by Michael Paperno of michaelpaperno.com Many people confuse these two terms, so here's my attempt to give some clarity. Personal brand. Your personal brand is how you market yourself, internally within your organization or externally to prospects and clients. When you have established a strong personal brand, you are able to confidently and clearly communicate your passions, value, and unique qualities to others. A personal brand establishes or clarifies your abilities and capabilities clearly in the minds of others. Executive presence. Executive presence is what makes you a leader that others want to follow. It's a culmination of character, attitudes, and behaviors that clearly demonstrates your commitment to your beliefs and values and to the development and success of others. Executive presence ensures you look, sound, and act like a leader in the eyes and minds of those you lead. Perception management is different from manipulation. Both of these terms involve managing perceptions, but don't think of either of them as manipulation. Sure, there are bad leaders who are good at acting like good leaders, and there are ruthless political schemers who inappropriately bulldoze others in pursuit of their own selfish objectives. That's not what we're talking about here. Think of it more as knowing yourself so well, your passions, what you value, the value you bring to others, and your authentic purpose, 
that you are able to operate in a way that will clearly communicate and connect with others. Just remember that a leadership title does not automatically give you executive presence. You need to do the work to clarify your purpose and to act and behave in ways that make you credible, trustworthy, and inspirational. Similarly, experience in your field or past successes and achievements don't magically create a personal brand that others will see. It's your job to tell others, and you can do it in a way that is true and authentic to you. You just listened to the posts titled Career Journeys, Changes, and Transitions, and Personal Brand or Executive Presence, both by Michael Paperno of michaelpaperno.com. And big thanks to Michael for letting us share his post. He is a leadership communication coach and workplace relationships consultant. Through coaching, consulting, and group training programs, he helps professionals communicate clearly, speak and present more effectively, build and maintain positive and healthy business relationships, refine their personal brands, and lead with confidence. He also helps teams prepare to present at high-stakes meetings, and he's a skilled advisor to teams with communication problems that impact internal dynamics, relationships, and culture. So come on and check out some more of his great articles and content. You can find it all at michaelpaperno.com. And his last name is spelled P-I-P-E-R-N-O. But that's gonna do it for today. Hope you are having a good one, and I will be back with you tomorrow, reading from another great blog, and that is where your optimal life awaits.